A number of countries represented at this year's Biennale have experienced natural disasters, war or political upheavals. We look at how artists interact with such challenging realities. These locked storage containers are packed with art. But at the moment, no one has a key. Artists Salir Jean Erard and Eugène André are getting ready to set up Haiti's first ever pavilion at the Biennale. Their clock is ticking, but they're staying calm. Yeah, it will be open, and the, the, the sculpture will be coming maybe this afternoon, and then I will go to fix the exhibition, me and Sila together, and Daniele. I think I'm very, very happy. Asian or Haiti will be happy also. At the Egyptian pavilion, Shady El Noshokati has created a homage to his friend, artist and activist Ahmed Besoni. He was killed by snipers in Cairo's Tahrir Square in the early days of the revolution. His videos are now on display at the pavilion, and so is one of his last works. Besoni jogged in a square enclosure for an hour every day for 30 days. A computer recorded his steps and sweat, a metaphor for energy senselessly wasted under Hosni Mubarak's regime. Actually, it starts by this kind of generation who are think differently about their life and the future of their life. Uh, he, is one, he was one of those. And the time of sadness is end. You know, we are starting a time of, of uh, working to, for him, you know, but, and continuing what he was, what he was planning to, to, to do. Art can be deeply political, but controversy doesn't always play a starring role in Venice. Some countries have tried to avoid touchy subjects. Outside the Chinese pavilion, fans of imposed artist and activist Ai Weiwei protest. But inside, the controversy is forgotten, hidden behind the mist and the pungent scents. The title of the exhibition, The Pervasion of Chinese Flavors. It's intended to introduce visitors to the nebulous notion of Chineseness. <laughs> Iraqi artist Halim Al Karim wants to go deeper. This is the first Iraqi pavilion in 35 years, and he's one of the six artists taking part. His art is dark and experimental, dominated by themes of power and eros. Like all the Iraqi artists here, he's left his native country and hasn't gone back. I'm delaying my return to Baghdad, to Iraq, because I don't want to, uh, the I don't want the present of Iraq to affect my old life in Iraq and my old memory. Al Karim's work has a menacing quality, exuding the threat of violence. Fear and violence also loom large in Ahmed Al Sodani's work. His giant tableau paintings figure twisted faces and fragmented figures. He uses bold colors and images to depict conflict, which is still an ongoing part of Iraqi life today. Rafael Chukukwa from Zimbabwe's National Gallery is the curator and designer behind the country's very first appearance at the Venice Biennale. Being critical of Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe is still dangerous. So Chikukwa has been very careful to avoid political themes here. Instead, the pavilion focuses on the search for identity in the past, present, and future, and Zimbabwe's way out of isolation. We felt that there is a need for us to be seen, to be interacting with the global art community. The only way was for us to be here in Venice as an answer to trying to reconnect with what is happening internationally. Photographer Calvin Dondo focused on German families who have adopted children from Africa. His work here explores the concept of integration. Zimbabwe's pavilion does not show any cliched traditional African sculpture. Instead, it turns an eye to contemporary art. Barry Bickle's art is also on show here. She says there is little room for a critical expression in her home country. And that sense of the critique, I mean, that's 
we, we know that uh, we know exactly where the limits are. So no, I don't think that it is in any way better. I think that um, the positions are very entrenched. Still, she thinks being at the Biennale is important for Zimbabwe. I think that perhaps part of Venice is part of Zimbabwe's presence in Venice is also about that. It's about actually the idea that there can be a normality and this is normal. <laughs> Back at the first ever Haitian pavilion, the containers have been opened and the artists are finally getting ready to set up their work. Voodoo art, made from junk, reflecting the themes of death and fertility. Another artistic take on life. At this, the world's biggest and probably most eclectic show. <laughs> 